hello my lovelies and welcome to this week's episode. So, <laughs> this week I'm taking you guys for a drive in the car that's made me feel the manliest ever and I've driven some cars but I feel so manly and butch today. I am in the third most popular car in Marbella after Orosan RS6. I am in the Mercedes V. So the modern Viano, I think, or Vito it was called before, I think. Anyway, the massive long seven seater. Reason I'm in this today is because it is also, also one of my rental fleet and it's going back to headquarters tomorrow and I thought, you know what? I don't know when I'm gonna get another chance to drive one of these beauties. <laughs> Let's go for a drive. So I've got my dog in the car, van, people mover, in the vehicle. And we're gonna go down to the beach. It's uh, eight o'clock at night, 7.30 at night. And we're gonna go for a little stroll on the beach before handing it back. And I've driven her a bit over the past few days. She doesn't feel as large as I thought she would. Bear in mind, this is one of the longest journeys I've probably ever done in a van. And uh, I feel very confident. I have parking sensors and amazing visibility. She's automatic, which is nice to be driving an automatic again. I haven't done that for a while. Um, I actually reverse parked her into a very narrow, what was that? into a very narrow space, so I was very, very proud of myself. Oh, Dino's setting off the seatbelt detector. Child, you put some weight on during lockdown. <laughs> it was so funny. When I picked the car up the other day, I had him with me too, and um, he sat all the way in the back. <laughs> I let him off his lead for a second. He went all the way in the back for some bizarre reason, um, feeling like he was being chauffeured around. And that is why, getting back to my previous point, why this car is the third most popular car in Marbella. Now, that's not factual. That's just my my own assumption. Um, following the orders on the RS6 because they are everywhere. I think this would be a close third with RS3s, which are everywhere also this year. But the V, the Mercedes V, is liked very much by chauffeur drivers. Um, all of the... Arabian princesses down here have a fleet of them so uh, you know on any given day you can see four or five black V's V-class Mercedes all blacked out tinted windows and whatnot heading to the local shopping center El Corte de Inglis with their VIP area and whatnot so very very popular cars down here and the reason I have it is because the S-class I drove last week um, was in the workshop and I gave my client this as a replacement car. <laughs> Sorry, because I didn't have anything else. And he was actually approached, uh, it was parked outside a shop and he was actually approached by a, a young girl asking if he was an Uber driver. <laughs> because let's face it, that, that is kind of what you would use the car for. I don't know if you would have it as, an, as your kind of family car it just feels very large. Brilliant for transporting things though. And it feels the part. I mean, like I said, you can, you know, feel the size of it. But it's still Mercedes. It still has a very, very snazzy interior. It's got the nice dials. Everything I'm looking at now isn't far off from any other Mercedes I've ever driven. Value for money wise, you get a lot for your buck from the second hand ones I've been looking at. Now this is um 2018 it has 55,000 kilometers so no kilometers at all and uh, <laughs> drives a dream I guess I mean I have nothing to compare it to so if any of you out there have owned a similar type vehicle please let me know how they compare to other ones I did drive I think the Citroen equivalent once and that did feel a lot more um, workers like builders van type feel to it but this is really nice. The back seats are lovely. It's super, super spacious. All the seats kind of fold down individually um, so you can accommodate it to whatever you're carrying load-wise and passenger-wise. 
I don't really know what else I can say. I mean, the gearbox is Mercedes. Everything about it is oozing Mercedes. Is she powerful? Yeah, yeah. I mean, we're, we're doing a normal speed and she feels very, very secure. I feel like I should, uh, I should be hitting all girls driving this. <laughs> no girls about but I do feel like I should be eating on some. Um, so that's my two cents on the Mercedes V-Class. Very informative as you guys can see as usual. Um, if you need a people mover, if you have four or more children um, or like doing group activities with your friends, I mean this would be great if you're going camping and sleep in the back. I would have no use for it whatsoever. Always nice to have. I mean, if I had 29 cars in my garage, this would be a great 30th one, just to have for shits and giggles. But, <laughs> and dogging. Anyway, on that note, I'm a few minutes in and I don't feel like I need you guys to watch any more of this painstaking <laughs> monologue of mine. I do have something exciting for next week, all going to plan, which my plans aren't really going to plan recently, I don't know what's going on in Spain, but no plans are happening, everything seems to be delayed, everything's moving in slow-mo, but hopefully I will have a very fun car for you next week, which I'm very excited um, to do a video, and it's a car that I've driven quite a bit, but never been able to do a video, so fingers crossed, I shall see you guys in something very fun next Sunday. I'm gonna try and uh, park this bad boy somewhere. <laughs> Wish me luck.